it's buying, selling, renting, building a dream home and everything in between. Here on The Property Show, we have a solution for you. Hi, and welcome to your weekly real estate dose. The property pick of the week brings a mix of developments you can call home, starting with an exclusive, chic, contemporary estate located in the heart of Tatu City in Kiambu County. Property News highlights a snippet on our just concluded dedicated signature bus tour at Moke Gardens. Actually, the encourage and especially those low income manners to come and view the houses, they should take advantage and it is a good thing. Everybody should own a house in town. The accessory spot shares a collection of bathroom ideas. Our favorite home ownership segment captures an interesting experience on the property journey. Don't buy something that you can't afford, because then you get stressed. Finally, catch other investment opportunities available in the market. Courtesy First Avenue, your real estate partner. We are live on our social media handles. Channel your questions and comments and let's talk. As always, there is something for everyone. It's a fact. Now is a good time to buy and invest in the real estate space. With mortgage rates remaining low and demand for housing continues to grow. Welcome to Unity Homes. This exclusive contemporary estate is located at the heart of Tatu City in Kiambu County. This project boasts of affordable apartments. Each unit comes with a glass railing balcony, a floor to ceiling sliding door, and after a long and hard day, the units come with natural pallets, giving you a lovely quality and elegant indoor experience. Let's check it out. Unity Homes is one of the leading property developer of residential communities in Kenya. We have uh, three projects so far. Two are successfully completed and uh, one is ongoing right now. We do have a few in the pipeline which will be unveiled in this year. Our first project was um, Unity Gardens which was in Eldoret. It was a uh, both two and three bedroom low-rise estate which we completed in 2018. After that we have moved to Tatu City where we did our first phase of out of the 1,200 units, which is now this estate here, that is called Unity West. It's uh, a total of 384 units of both two and three bedrooms. Unity West estate was sold out in less than two years, yeah? In what we expected to complete in three years, actually. To say we are proud of this achievement is an understatement, considering the challenges that we faced in the pandemic. Yeah? We used to spin around 40 to 50 units per month to sell this place out. Unity East is the phase two of our development. It comprises of low-rise apartments of two, three and four bedroom units. We have amenities like uh, swimming pool, 
there is a gym, there is a kids play area. The development is adjacent to almost a 35 acre park. This is one of the green spaces of Tatu City. Yeah. We've got another two acre park on the Unity West side, which is also for the kids play area and for all the tenants to use. Tatu City is 15 minutes away from exit 11 of uh, Thika Super Highway, where both the eastern and northern bypasses meet. The road is currently under expansion to a dual carriageway which is going to open up the location. The Unity East project has a flexible 24-month payment plan and we are also uh, currently offering huge cash and introductory price discounts. For the children living in our estates, we have uh, schools which are within the close proximity. In fact, there is uh, Nova Pioneer and Crawford International which are within Tatu City. Then we also have Wood Creek and some more other schools around Tatu City. We do have hospitals like Kenyatta Referral Hospitals and Tatu City has also established mini clinics within the city. One should invest in Unity Homes because we are vertically integrated. That means we have control over important aspects of the development, including delivery timelines and quality finishes. All our projects have been completed ahead of schedule, if not on time. For example, the last project, which is Unity West, has been completed six months ahead of schedule. Location guarantees capital gains and good return on investment. Currently, we are on 100% occupancy on the Unity West estate. This company also thrives on integrity. At Unity Homes, we focus on creation of all-round communities in our development with the intent of nurturing skills for the kids and also building healthy social environment. Let me take you through our show home in phase one. This is an 85 kg Turkish door. Come on in. Isn't this door amazing? The beauty about it, it has three locks. You are able to know that even if you have a toddler, he or she is very secure. All our apartments our open plan. We have the lounge which opens up to the expansive balcony. The beauty about it is that we have wooden teak textured ceramic tiles. That way we have many questions about people asking is it wood or is it a tile. Next to it we have the kitchen with a breakfast bar. For all those many people who enjoy their breakfast with a bit of intimacy in it. All our finishes are imported. That includes the oven hood and also the kitchen cabinets. And we have our switches, which are stainless steel with a bit of a twist of an Italian finish. Now, in all our apartments, we have ensured that your taps have running both hot and cold water. Now we had something new for the woman with a little and or no time to be able to cook and clean at the same time. Right underneath your breakfast bar, we made the provision for the washing machine. Here we have the bathroom. The bathroom, we have the vanity cabinet, which serves as also the medicine cabinet. The shower is a rain shower. Again, at the same time, with Italian finishes. Now, in this two-bedroom apartment, one bath, we decided to do this bedroom as a child's bedroom. Unity Homes, being focused on community, focuses more on the child. Hence why we decided to do an upstairs bed and at the same time, study area for the evenings. Nothing beats like a beautiful bookshelf and a skateboard for all our kids. Next to it, we have the parents' bedroom where we have a quiet, cozy area. You're able to watch over your child and each room comes with modern cabinetry 
if you choose to change it, well, we also come in and also guide you through that process. Now, in each house, we have solar water heating. And in case of an overcast day, switch on, choose how many minutes you need your hot water, then it will dial itself off. Another development ideal for a first-time home buyer, as well as investment, is Green Zone Apartments. This mixed-use development is located in the Degwa along Kiambu Road. What makes this project exciting is the price point, location, and proximity to amenities, ideal for modern living. Let's see what they have to offer. Green Zone Phase 2 are modern residential apartments located in the serene environment of Fidigua, adjacent to Quickmart supermarket comprising of one, two and three bedroom units with plinth area of 38, 65 and 90 square meters respectively. This development serves the growing need of residential focused on affordable housing. Accommodation features include spacious living area opening to a balcony, kitchen, visitor's cloakroom, plug-in TV linkage and internet, master ensuite bedroom. The common amenities will include 24-7 guarded security, boundary wall with electric fence, borehole for extra water supply, high-speed lift in each block, ample parking for tenants and guests, solar water heating system for each unit, swimming pool, entertainment hall, backup generator for common areas, and controlled entry systems. Phase 2 expected completion is June 2022. looking for a project located in the most sought after South Sea neighborhood, look no further. The Bandari apartment is a project to consider. It gets better. It comes with impeccable designs, spacious rooms, as well as high-end finishes, inspiring a new wave of living. Let's see what they have to offer. Bandari apartments offer the privacy of community living with high-level security. The development comprises of three blocks of 198 three-bedroom units. The apartments come in two sizes, middle units of 168 square meters, while the corner apartments have size of 171 square meters. Accommodation features include spacious lounge come dining opening to the balcony, Open plan kitchen fitted with MDF high and low level cabinets and granite worktop, pantry, laundry area, visitors cloakroom, all bedrooms are ensuite and fitted with MDF wardrobes, ensuite domestic staff quarter. Salient features include perimeter wall, cabra paved driveways, ample parking, two high speed lifts, common areas power backup, landscaping, children's play area, underground and overhead storage water tanks, internet and NATV connectivity, main and borehole water supply, and solar water heating.
Next is a development that has made home ownership possible. If you're looking for affordable, safe, and quality homes in a thriving community, Karibu Homes is the place for you. It's conveniently located in Athi River, just 35 kilometers from Nairobi CBD, and one kilometer from Athi River Main Road. What makes it better? This project is complete and ready for occupation. Here is more. The Athi homes have standard finishes with common features including open plan living room and dining area, steel casement windows and brass curtain fittings, kitchen with inbuilt cupboards and an adjacent utility area with Dolby sink, master bedroom ensuite and other bedrooms share a tiled bathroom, built-in wardrobes and enhanced finishes. The Tana homes have superior finishes with common features such as attractive open plan living and dining room, kitchen and utility area, ceramic tile floors, steel casement windows, master bedroom ensuite, separate shared tiled bathroom and shower, built-in wardrobes and enhanced finishes. Today's property market is a buyer's market. Here on The Property Show, we understand this space. If you're looking to buy, sell, rent, build a dream home, as well as mortgage support, we can steer you in the right direction. And we are just a telephone call away. Last week, our signature bus tour was dedicated to Moke Gardens. With financial experts on board, all questions on mortgage matters were answered. Today's event, we are meeting with potential clients, taking them around the site, showing what we have currently. The development comprises of uh, around 42 units with the machinettes, and then we have another project that construction is ongoing for apartments under the affordable housing project, which will have 4,000 units. The first phase will be complete in 2023, so we are building in phases. At the development, we have a hospital, we have a kindergarten, we'll have a swimming pool, we'll have shops. We are targeting the high middle class people for the marchionettes. And then for the apartments, we are targeting the kawaida monainchi. Because we have the one bedroom, we have the two bedroom, and we have the three bedroom. When you are purchasing under affordable housing, there's nothing like stamp duty. At least that's an incentive to the buyer. And then your money is secure. Even if it's off plan, the money you are paying is not going to us. It's going to an escrow account that the government is in control. So when we finish building for you, that's when the money is available to us. Let's see what the participants had to say. Actually, I chose to attend today's event because I want to own a house in this site and especially in this project of the houses that the government has provided. So I wanted to take advantage of that. Actually, it was awesome. It was good. Yeah, we were able to see the barat houses that they're giving out. Actually, I would encourage and especially those low-income manners to come and view the houses, they should take advantage. And it is a good thing. Everybody should own a house in town. 
tumekuwa tuki long for such a kind of an event sababu E1 tumekuja kujifamiliarize na wengine wenye wamekuwa wameitwa want to do ile product yenye tumekuwa tukiambiliwa itakuwa ready one imefika wapi hii product tunataka kuweka pesa yetu ndani who are the possible people to finance us na tumepata information zenye tumekuwa tuna even before then pia kutaka kukuja sana leo juu leo we knew we we'll get good number of people again who are interested to buy the houses like the way we are mi mwenyewe nataka kuona mahali nanunua sinunui peke yangu. Nikinunua naona jirani mwingine ananunua na nanunua. If we are doing big number of people the same thing, it means it's a, the right thing. Developer lazima atotoe uoga wenye. This is an off, off plan payments. Tunanunua nyumba yenye ijaisha. Na lazima tukue na na trust na developers wenye kwanza hii Kenya yetu venye saa hii imefika wengine wanaanza kitu tunaweka pesa zetu pale ikifika inapotelea mbali but we have some trust with this the owner of this place because one we seen some properties zenye ame, ame jenga tayari na zimenunuliwa na wengi so sisi tuko na trust na u developer ile iko ni atuharakishie tuki make payments zetu hivi venye tunaidiwa ni 8 months project 8 months in one year tukue tumeingia manyumba zetu hiyo ndio tungeomba kutoka kwa developer banks wakonzide kwamba tumetoka kwa season yenye iko mzuri sana <laughs> wakiangalia venye tunaweza fikia ku qualify kupata hii pesa ya mortgage wa kweli ni us The property news segment is where we get real-time updates on events happening in the real estate space. Are you looking to host an event and would like to be featured on this platform? Just drop us a line and lock our calendars. Our signature bus tour is back. In just one day, you'll get to view a collection of properties available along Mombasa Road. And while at it, legal and financial professionals on board will answer all your questions. You'll also have a chance to interact with like-minded people as well as developers. And finally, you get to pick your dream home. Wow! Book your seat today. One of the things also that um, for me this bus tour stood out for me is that we were able to have the different partners in the bus. Each, each bus had um, somebody from the legal side and we had a financial institution. So the idea was that any questions that you had would be able to be addressed as you're going through, as you're seeing the property. And, and, I, and I really liked that because many people sometimes um, are not very sure about what it involves getting your first property, the legal process. And even in terms of the financial, just understanding that it is possible for you to be able to afford property where you are at. It doesn't have to be very expensive. There are ways that you can go about it. So I like that so that and even gave you the opportunity as you saw different um, properties and you were probably interested, then you would go and ask the financial institution, this is amount X. And this is what I earn. And this is what this I is earn. Where I am. This is where can I be able to afford, you know? So I really like that because anybody who was interested, even for a first timer, even if you don't see the property, you will come out wiser. It's time for a short commercial break. Still ahead, a collection of bathroom ideas. An interesting experience on the home ownership journey. So at work, we had a cooperative 
And if anyone is, is lucky to be employed to have a cooperative, that's the first thing to do, is start saving with your cooperative. Other investment opportunities available in the market, courtesy First Avenue, your real estate partner. Thank you for interacting with us on our digital platforms. Keep your comments and questions coming. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back. You're watching The Property Show. Next, the accessory spot with a collection of bathroom ideas. Today we give you inspiration if you're looking to remodel your bathroom. Here are a few collections of bathroom ideas. If you love to spend time in the tub after the end of the day, then make it the focal point of the room. Make a pretty path to your bubble bath out of colorful patterned tiles, giving it a sense of simplicity. Bath on the pebbles. The idea is to put your bathtub on a bed of pebbles. These natural stones work well with a botanical theme and wooden elements. Or, if you don't have a bathtub to put pebbles, you can also put a patch of pebbles under the vanity. We all want the atmospheric glow in the bathroom. You can achieve this by installing perimeter lighting and LED strips for a clean and subtle effect. You can create a terrace bathroom as this will help you enjoy the beauty of outdoors. You can also incorporate botanicals into your scheme and planters that is integrated right into the vanity unit countertop. Plant a bathroom courtyard, walling off a little courtyard area on the outside floor to the ceiling windows gives you a garden view without worrying about privacy. Another way is to incorporate mats in the bathroom that provide a soft place to stand on bare feet. For example, you can use patches of grass growing right out of the floor. yet affordable accessories is the goal for every homeowner. Our interior decorators are available to help transform your home into a beautiful haven. Just give us a call and we'll connect you. Next, an exciting experience on the home ownership journey. Born and bred in Nairobi, um, I, was, I was lucky enough to, to grow up in Lavington and Kilimani and then we moved to Karen. And my parents always owned, owned their homes, but I also watched my mother and my dad as well. They were very open and clear about saying, we need to have a home for where our children can, can live. And we saw them pursuing their goals and, and achieving those goals. Uh, so it really instilled in us that it's, it's possible. They were also very, very clear that it's, it's you. And the house that he bought, and with his wife, is his house. And they were expecting us to leave when we, when we now finish school and start working. Um, of course, when you're young, you can't imagine that it's possible to own something. So one of the things that uh, happened in my career as I was working is um, I had a very, very close knit of friends. And we started an investment group, like most women do. And our goal was for all of us to be very clear about why we need to save. Um, one of the very, very good friends was very strong in finance, and she taught me very, very good lessons on how to save and to be very deliberate about it. 
As a woman, you feel very empowered. You set a project, you make a goal, you decide, and then you go for it. But the most important thing is don't buy something that you can't afford, because then you get stressed at the end of the day. Don't buy something you can't afford to pay for, but also maintain, because that's the other big bill that's coming, is you buy the house, and then now the roof has a problem, or you need to do the garden, and all these things cost money. And she taught me that it's very important not to buy for your friends, but to buy for you. So at work, we had a cooperative. And if anyone is, is lucky to be employed to have a cooperative, that's the first thing to do, is start saving with your cooperative, because they have the best, the best interest rates. Um, and that's what I did. I started saving because I wanted to buy a piece of land. And, uh, and as I mentioned, um, for me, what I knew is that I couldn't afford at that time to buy anything more than 500,000 shillings. Because what I could save was adding up to borrowing 500,000 shillings. So instead of worrying about that, I decided to buy a piece of land. Everyone does that. You buy a piece of land, first of all. Um, and uh, a good friend of mine said, look, they were called Mushivis those days. It's a long strip of, of land. Mushivi is a, is a belt, a long skinny belt. <laughs> so they're called Mushivis in, uh, in quotes. So that's what I did. And I said, instead of worrying about trying to buy a house in Karen, let me buy this piece of land. Then I'll know what I'll do about it later. Um, shortly, uh, after saving again in the cooperative, uh, I met uh, the host of this show, Nancy. They were selling apartments. The apartments then were going for about uh, 4.8. And I was like, this is so much money, what am I gonna do? Then I realized that I didn't need to give them 4.5 million or 4.8 at straight away. I needed money for the deposit. And so I was like, hey, I've got a plot. Let me sell it. So straight away called the agent, got the cash for that, and borrowed the balance from the cooperative and gave, gave the balance to, uh, to Nancy and the family of developers that were building. And that was my first one. It's called Emerald. Emerald. Emerald, yeah. So the second lesson is don't, if you can't afford a five bedroom house and you like this neighborhood, buy the three bedroom. So they had th uh, two bedroom flats and uh, three bedrooms and a beautiful penthouse. The penthouse was seven million and for me that was like going to heaven and coming back. Where am I gonna find this money? The two bedroom was 4.8. So I decided to buy the two bedroom. But I still had the swimming pool and all the other amenities. You're still paying service charge. You still had a parking. And I was living in Kilimani, which was very nice at the, at the time. Uh, there were fewer flats at the time. And it was near work. So identifying your need, my need number one was to first stop paying rent. You can't afford to buy a house in Karen, um, but that doesn't mean you can't afford to buy a home. A home does not mean a big, big, huge mansion. A home is where you're not paying rent, but you own. And that's what I did. Um, but what I loved about it is uh, because I came in again when it was an X on the ground, um, I was able to work with them to now put in special things that I liked. So changing the floor to my design, changing the wall to my design, because the developer was so excited that I had come in as one of the first customers um, that they were able to listen to you. So that was the beginning. So what I didn't mention is that I'm 54. And uh, when I made the decision to buy the flat, I had said no more paying rent after 40. Like that's gonna be the worst thing ever. So as I sat in my apartment, now I'm 43, uh, after a while I was like, am I going to be 50 sitting in this apartment? <laughs> I'd like to have a dog, I'd, if I decide to have children. A two bedroom is actually too small and, and I want to have a garden. So I started again, embarking, you get on, on the websites, you start looking at apartments or start looking at houses. I need to upgrade. And it's a, a feeling that just comes in your heart. I don't know where it comes from. It just comes because you know you want to have a better a better situation. So as I looked, I realized all the houses I loved were 30 million shillings. And I was like, my goodness, I'm back in the same situation I was in of how am I going to afford to do this? I'd finished paying for the apartment, by the way. Sorry, I didn't mention that. I'd finished paying for it and I was now, so I was debt free. So again, the same thing. So I looked and looked. Then I found a maisonette in uh, Westlands and I fell in love with it. It was a two bedroom up and down and it had, a, uh, you either had a garden or you had a rooftop garden. 
and I fell in love with the one that had a garden. And it was in Westlands and I thought, perfect, this is perfect. Paid the deposit. Then when the paperwork started, they didn't have title deeds. And I sat and I was like, what? How are you selling without a title deed? And there was no uh, intention of quickly getting the title deed. And they were very calm about it. They kept saying, but everybody, you're not the first buyer, by the way. The guy who's selling also didn't have a title deed. And I was like, oof, I'm very uncomfortable with that. And they just said, look, don't panic. If you don't like it, we'll give you back the deposit. The next one I looked at, everything is 30, 25. I'm like, I, I can't afford that. I actually can't afford to spend that money. Then one day I sat and I said, I'm sitting on an apartment that I bought. Why don't I just sell the apartment and then I'll have enough money to deposit and buy. So when I called and I said, give me a valuation, I was so shocked. It had doubled. Those are the old days when property was shooting up. I said, what? I said, okay, put it on the market, sell. Sell. It sold within a week. I remember I have not found a house. So what I decided is fine. Uh, it takes time for a, an apartment uh, to sell, the actual paperwork and everything. So I then said, fine, let me uh, continue looking. So you're the, now you've sold my house, I now need somewhere to live. So I then decided to rent, which is something very interesting because I had come from, I'm never going to rent. But I thought, but you have a, a good deposit. You're blessed to have a job where you can get access to credit. Um, what's wrong with renting? So I rented for about uh, six months and then I found this place. Home ownership is an exciting journey with challenges along the way and we would love to hear your story and what you do differently today. Just give us a call and I'll be at your doorstep. Next, a view of other investment opportunities available in the market, courtesy First Avenue, your real estate partner. Set in the scenic neighborhood of Karen, against the backdrop of Ololua Forest, are these five-bedroom all-en-suite palatial homes. Comprising of 30 homes, the development is spread on a 20-acre piece of land. The residences will enjoy lush scenery with unmatched views. Nasserian palatial homes redefines luxury living. These homes comprise of two floors. On the ground floor, we have an entry hallway that leads to a visitor's cloakroom, a sprawling lounge, a dining area fitted with large windows with a large door, leading to a terrace area where one can enjoy the greenery of his or her own compound. After the dining, we head over to a large kitchen with a pantry area, laundry area and kitchen terrace, overlooking two staff quarters and a visitor's bedroom which is all en suite. On your way to the first floor, we have a beautiful staircase fitted with a large window. This floor comprises of a family room, two ensuite bedrooms and a master bedroom that is fitted with a walk-in closet for his and hers, a large bathroom with shower cubicles, a bathtub and a terrace. The shared amenities include 24-7 manned gate, perimeter wall with electric fence, remotely controlled CCTV surveillance, internal paved driveways, visitors parking, ample water supply, a man-made river, street lighting, solar water heating system, jogging track, landscape gardens, and a clubhouse that hosts a swimming pool, spa, gym, massage parlor, saloon, and nail bar. This development is in close proximity to schools, shopping centers and recreational facilities. The homes are complete and ready for occupation.
Zabid Gardens is a gated community consisting of 100 units of four bedrooms all on suite missionettes. The estate is set on five acres of land and each unit has a built area of 154.1 square meters. This development is set in Athi River and cuts across all spheres of prospective homeowners with stylish architectural design for living. Accommodation features. The ground floor consists of an entrance hallway providing privacy to living spaces and a transition into the house. Open plan living area with a large sliding door that leads to a private garden. Fully fitted separate kitchen with top and bottom cabinetry, a door leading to a washing area and an ensuite DSQ, a visitor's cloakroom, an ensuite guest room for privacy of the guests. On your way to the first floor, we have a beautiful staircase that leads to the bedrooms. All the bedrooms are en suite, fitted with wardrobes, and the master bedrooms come with a balcony and shower cubicles. Other features in the development include 24-hour manned gate for security, perimeter wall with electric fencing, street lighting and generator for communal areas, children's play area, a borehole for ample water supply, solar water heating systems, ample parking for homeowners and guests, cabro driveways, and a shopping center. This project is in close proximity to shopping malls, schools, and recreational areas. The price for this development is 11.5 million Kenya shillings. Where do you get modern, luxurious and masterfully designed affordable apartments along Waiyaki Way? Well, Finn Heights Apartments Waiyaki Way got you covered with 28 units of one, two and three bedroomed apartments are ideal to suit every family size. The accommodation features include a spacious lounge area with a sliding door leading to a balcony, a separate dining area a fully fitted kitchen with designer cabinetry, a separate pantry and laundry area, a visitor's cloakroom, and an ensuite master bedroom with built-in ceiling height designer wardrobes. Shared common amenities will include 24-hour manned security access, a perimeter fence with CCTV surveillance, ample parking space with cabro paved driveways, children play area, ample water supply, backup generator, high-speed lifts, well-equipped gym facility, a rooftop pool area, a lounge area with spectacular and breathtaking views of Mountain View suburbs. This development has an easy access to Westlands, CBD, Kigiri and Lavington with great schools and shopping facilities around, thus defines the perfect lifestyle living. The price range of this development is as follows. One bedroom apartment is 6.5 million Kenya shillings. Two bedroom apartment is 10 million Kenya shillings. Three bedroom standard apartment is 13 million Kenya shillings. And three bedroom premium apartment is 14 million Kenya shillings. Set in the serene, secure neighborhood of Joska, along Kangunda Road, is this affordable gated estate comprising of 46 units of three bedroom master ensuite bungalows, with each house sitting on an eighth acre piece of land. Accommodation features include a spacious living area fitted with tiles, 
spacious dining area, large windows for natural light, an open kitchen plan with top and bottom cabinets offering enough storage space, a common share cloakroom for the two bedrooms, a three bedroom master ensuite. Other amenities include 24 7 manned gate with electric perimeter wall, provision of CCTV cameras installation, ample parking space, cab paved driveway, street lighting, provision of solar water heating system, children play area, shopping center, ample water supply, and beautifully landscaped garden. The units are going for 5.9 million Kenya shillings cash price. The units are currently on offer where one pays a deposit of 1.5 million Kenya shillings and the rest is payable in 10 months time. From a standalone house to apartments and turning your plot into a dream home, here at First Avenue, we boast of a large property portfolio for sale across the markets in all shapes, sizes, and price range. Wherever you are, start your property search with us. Thank you for watching The Property Show. Did you know all these properties featured on this platform are available for sale at First Avenue, the real estate arm of the property show. Our dedicated sales team are ready to engage and to answer all your questions. In addition, we will steer you in the right direction. If you're looking for financial solutions, insurance products, and professionals you need on the home ownership journey. My shoot location is Unity Homes. Our digital platforms remain open. Let's keep talking. See you next Sunday. As always, there is something for everyone. Kwaheri! Hey.